Hi, everybody. This is Diane from Diane's Corner, and I'm just starting out this morning. It's a lovely 41 degree day, and thought, oh, I'm gonna really enjoy this walk today. However, I kind of alerted the dogs in the neighborhood that I'm walking around. And um, yeah, this is the last day of the year, New Year's Eve. And I thought, well, I'm going to start with uh, Elsie Larson's house because there was some discussion on Elsie's house from yesterday about her name, for one thing. And um, her name was Elsie Clark Larson because uh, she uh, was married to Mr. Clark and then uh, she got married to Mr. Larson. So some people know her as Mrs. Clark. Some people know her as Mrs. Larson. And I was always confused about that myself, but I got that cleared up anyway. So I don't know too much about Mrs. Larson except for the fact that I um, got to know her through riding to Medora with her um, in the mornings and then after work, uh, which was, boy, that's about 1960, I don't know, 65 maybe. Um, but this house is a Sears Roebuck house, I think. Somebody said that anyway, and the um, after Mrs. Larson sold it, has um, gone through several different families over the years, and right now it's really looking in great shape, remarkable shape, and it, it is one of the older homes in the in the town of Belfield too. And I thought it was kind of interesting how somebody has made that deck modification on the um, east side of the house. So that second floor, I was told, was a ballroom. So they'd have dances up there. And now I see they've got some double French doors there with a deck. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, so going, um, let's see, where am I? Okay, so I'm across the street from the Catholic Church, and then some of you may not have known that. Oh, the wind is going to pick up. But um, that house on the corner was taken down and made into a parking lot there. And then that's Mrs. O'Brien's house. And this is, uh, I think it was Vicki and Ernie H Schneider's house. And uh, some homes I know better than others, but this is uh, quite the day for having New Year's Eve, remembering um, some New Year's Eves, we'd get together as a youth group and go out on a hayride at midnight and we'd have, um, oh golly, we'd have hot chocolate and cookies and sandwiches and have a, a good time at midnight. That was pretty great. Go home and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, oh, what a nice day for a walk. So here we go, and okay, that's Ken. Ken Adams is there. Francis and Ken, then, if I, let's see, if I go up the hill here, we're coming to, uh, that might, that was a Libichick's. I was going to say Bill Cordnery built this home and the one across the street, I think, also. And he built our house. And uh, just a, a wonderful uh, carpenter. And uh, so these homes are, are homes that he built. Anyway, that's just a little kind of thought that I had there. And uh, there's some dogs barking up that corner. So I won't go up there. And then coming up the block here. Uphill is always kind of good exercise. Well, there's lots of people getting ready for the evening, I'm sure. Getting ready with their festivities. Now in the old days, we'd play cards and bring in the new year together. This year, I think people are texting and making phone calls. Oh, we used to do that too at midnight. 
call everybody, wish them a happy new year. Those were all little things that made the night special, different from all the others anyway. So here we come to the Ukrainian Catholic Church here. And this is, let's see if I can get close up here to the, you can see that. And the beauty of the building here. It looks like they have some beautiful new doors. And here we get closer to it. There. Isn't that pretty? And here's the manger scene, nativity scene. And the sign that says St. Jane, St. John, Ukrainian Catholic Church, 1966. So there is the date. Cornerstone. As they say, St. John's Ukrainian Catholic Church. There's the, another marquee. And here's the north side of the church. And so here, across the street, we're almost over at 85 here. If I were to take another block up here, here we would be. And then, now this is the parsonage for the Belfield Lutheran Church. It just seems so strange. It looks just like, um, well, I don't know, it's just, Walk around here a little bit more, see what we can see. Go up the hill and uh, take a hike here. So these are all some nice trees growing in the back there, all pine trees. Oh, this has got a new side, uh, cement with a garage. Oh, that looks really nice. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I, I went by, this is Don Jablonski's. Looks, he always has such beautiful flowers. And uh, there's his trees. It's pretty nice there. And here we have another. Now this whole section historically started as the Dakota Land Company's property and they that's how they they did it. They came in and bought up all this. In fact, this uh, section of Belfield is called the O'Connor Edition. And uh, that's what they did. So now I'm here at the top of the hill. This was Rocky Jablonski's place, but I don't know who has it now. I might must be mistaken with all these names. I'm getting them mixed up, but thank you for all your comments. Sure appreciate those comments coming in. They make for interesting walking and I can appreciate more what's happening here. This is the Napa building. This is, yeah, it was called Thrivent Park. I don't know if it still is, but, um, check over here now. That's 85. Just kind of take a scan. A few people out driving around. Napa Auto Parts is closed, of course. Most people close at noon, I think, today. Considered a holiday. So, well, we're looking forward to 2021 coming up real soon now maybe about 12 hours from now. And uh, we're coming up here to Touch of Health, which is a fine place to get a good massage. Sure, had many of those myself. Oh, touch of Health. And it looks like she's open too, it says open. Uh -huh. So here we are at the top of the hill, looking over and that's Highway 10 going east and then Highway 10 going west and oh, water tower. Oh, 
Okay. Well, we're going to put on some new music and start a new year with new beginnings. And I always like to start the day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We can do that for the new year. This is the year 2020. The Lord has made it day by day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can turn it around. Have an amazing day. Bye now. This is Diane from Diane's Corner.